All right, guys, so some interesting news here uh, from CPAC, which is the conservative political uh, action conference that uh, happens every year. And it's going to be beginning uh, this Thursday, right? Um, later this week. And it goes till Sunday. Now, uh, they announced that they're going to have Trump speak at the event and that, you know, Trump is essentially going to be a main attraction uh, for the event. And what's funny is that the theme of CPAC is uncanceling America, except uh, CPAC canceled uh, Young Pharaoh uh, for some comments that he made in the past uh, before the event. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, the big thing here is that Trump uh, reportedly is going to claim he is the presumptive 2024 nominee uh, and the leader of the GOP in his CPAC speech. So let's read more about this because I have some interesting comments on this. Former President Donald Trump will proclaim that he is still in charge of the Republican Party and is its presumptive 2024 nominee when he makes his first public appearance at a conservative conference next weekend in Orlando, according to a report on Monday. Trump's keynote address at the Conservative Political Action Committee conference next Sunday will be a show of force and he will remind Republicans that he is still uh has control of the bully uh pulpit even if he's not in the white house uh axios reported quote i may not have twitter or the over office but i'm still in charge uh will be trump's message to the group the website reported uh citing a longtime advisor the former president who has been hosting republican lawmakers at mar-a-lago will huddle this week with advisors on his political future with an eye towards becoming a kingmaker in the 2022 elections again that's an interesting um way to put it because i've told you guys you know i've basically done a series on this that right now trump is not a kingmaker right that, that's the honest to god truth he's not a kingmaker right now because he doesn't have the political infrastructure to be a kingmaker but he is king right there's no doubt he's king right now kingmaker is mcconnell trump's trying to become a kingmaker but in order to be a kingmaker he needs to have some pull in regards to running candidates that back his ideology uh senior advisor jason miller said trump intends to remain a force among republicans quote uh trump is effectively the republican party miller told axios uh quote the only chasm is between uh beltway insiders and grassroots republicans across around the country when you attack president trump you are attacking the republican grassroots this is 100 percent true Trump is also expected to pay back uh, the 10 House Republicans who voted to convict him in his impeachment trial and the seven GOP senators who voted with Democrats to convict him. Earlier this month, Trump tore into Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, calling him an unsmiling political hack who should be booted from office. McConnell voted to acquit Trump, uh, but then blamed Trump for being practically and morally responsible for the January 6th Capitol riot. Uh, Trump has found support from state Republican officials who censured some members of Congress who voted against him, and he retains a database of millions of names from his campaigns and as much as 75 million in his pack. Uh, he can shower on candidates he recruits to challenge sitting Republicans in primary elections. A poll released Sunday shows that 46% of Republican voters said they would leave the party if Trump decides to create his own. An indication of how strong Trump's support is within the GOP, 80%. In the USA Today, uh, Suffolk University poll said that they would not back a candidate who voted against the former president. All right. So what are my thoughts on this? So surprising take here to some people. I actually do not think that it would be a good idea for President Trump to go out there and to basically say that he's running in 2024. I do not think he should do that. The reason why I don't think he should do that is because right now with the Republican Party, the establishment Republicans, they don't know what Trump is going to do. They're literally on their heels thinking like okay is he gonna be a force is he not gonna be a force you see people like nikki haley already trying to get ahead of the game and say i don't think he's running in 2024 right trying to distance herself and themselves mcconnell's in the same camp as uh haley basically but trying to distance themselves early uh from president trump 
thinking that he's not going to be a part of the party. And then you got some people like Lindsey Graham and Kevin McCarthy that are trying to basically uh, ride the fence and, you know, be for Trump and also for the establishment. And then you got guys like, you know, Matt Gates and Ted Cruz that are just pro-Trump, right? So that's how the GOP is divided. I think Trump continuing to sit on the sidelines and playing all sides, right? Not really revealing what his plans are. But at the same time, working in the background to, no matter what, run his own candidates, build out his own political infrastructure, I think that's actually the right move. Because, guys, you remember when Nikki Haley uh, came out and said what she said about Trump, she basically tried to pull back a little bit on that statement, right? And then she also tried to set up a meeting with Trump at Mar-a-Lago, but Trump stiff-armed her, right? Trump not revealing his plans early allows him to sit back and wait. And let the Republicans, the establishment Republicans, decide if they're going to align with him or not. Right? And in that way, he can see what their true colors are. Okay? Because if he comes out early, they may just, people who don't even want to align with him, may just decide, like, ah, you know what? Like, I'm just going to get behind it. I, you know, but secretly could be plotting against him. Right? If he, you know, waits a little bit, he can catch more people like Nikki Haley who comes off as a friend but really is just trying to you know advance her own political agenda right that I mean we saw that with Nikki Haley that's what you try to meet with President Trump at Mar-a-Lago because she wanted to save face because she know that she made a political miscalculation she got ahead of herself we all know that the Republicans are tied to Trump right the base is tied to Trump the base goes wherever Trump goes right Trump knows this so it's not like he needs to be out there as the face of the Republican Party 24-7. He doesn't have to do that. Nobody has to tell him that. Nobody has to say that. Everybody knows that. I think what Trump needs to focus on right now is not giving the establishment Republicans any information about his plans and letting them guess what Trump is going to do because resources are scarce, guys. Resources are scarce, right? And how the establishment Republicans allocate their resources is going to depend on what Trump does. It really is. How much money they put into an establishment candidate for 2024? Because you guys already know they all have their own establishment candidates, right? The GOP has the people that they want to win, right? For example, uh, Jeb Bush was the guy that they wanted to win in 2016, okay? The establishment has their candidates. So the earlier they know about it, right, what Trump's plans are, the earlier they can kind of work against Trump, right? This goes for the Democrats as well. Right. If Trump comes out and says, I'm running 2024, the Democrats know exactly what they want to do for 2024. They're like, OK, we know Trump is running. Uh, we know that Trump probably is going to be the nominee. We can start organizing uh, to beat Trump. Right. Four years earlier. So I think Trump needs to hold off on saying that he is going to run in 2024 for sure. I, I think he needs to hold off on that. Right. I think he just kind of needs to let things settle down put more attention on the Democrat scandals, put more attention on what the Biden administration is doing or not doing, go after the Democrats, right, for their failures, particularly on stimulus, right, and some other things, uh, the, the border, a lot of policies that are going to hit home with people, right, B Biden's failure to one-up him in terms of handling the pandemic, Trump needs to focus on stuff like that, Trump needs to focus on policy, right, that's what Trump needs to focus on, how is Biden's policies worse than trump policies okay i think that's what trump needs to focus on now does he need to hint at running in 2024 sure right like he, he should still say that you know what i'm the leader i'm still running this thing um you know but he should definitely stop short of saying i'm running for sure right because early this early in the game you know you want to definitely in the background be you know doing what you got to do to be prepared, but you don't want to tell anybody definitively because essentially you're giving your opponents access to your plans already, right? And we already know that Trump is planning on running his own candidates in 2022, which means he's trying to establish some political infrastructure. And that in and of itself, McConnell has already came out, right? And said that they're planning to counteract that, right? Particularly in purple states and purple districts. OK, so we can already see that the establishment McConnell has already said we're going to work to make sure that uh, 
Trump's primary candidates don't win because McConnell doesn't believe that Trump primary candidates can win general elections. And I'm pretty sure that McConnell probably doesn't think Trump can win a general election either. Right. I mean, just using, you know, his logic, just based off what McConnell said and based off how McConnell's basically telling people, yeah, we're planning for this. Right. And they're going to actively work against Trump on this. I think it's best at this point for Trump to just keep it chill in terms of whether or not he's running in 2024. Now, I know, guys, I've speculated a lot about whether or not Trump's running in 2024. I thought for sure, at least before the Capitol event, I was like, Trump's definitely running. Right. But, you know, after that event, I'm not necessarily sure um, exactly how I feel in terms of, um, you know, Trump wanting to run. I'm pretty sure he wants to in terms of whether or not he actually will. You know, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But if he is, I just want to say that I, I just don't think it's a good idea to announce it this early. I think that he just needs to establish himself as somebody that's, you know, serious about, um, you know, moving the Republican Party forward. And also serious about establishing his own candidates and his own policy agenda. Things of that nature. Focus on the policy. That's just my opinion on what Trump should do. So this was some interesting news. Um, you know, if Trump comes out and uh, announces that he's running 2024, I don't think it's smart. But hey, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I just wanted to give my opinion on that and, you know, um, let you guys know that there is some speculation that Trump could be uh, making a big announcement uh soon in regards to uh 2024 but we'll see we'll see we don't know we'll see so let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace